Hey everybody, today we are talking about some of my classic records, vinyl. I know it's a very hip thing nowadays. Everybody's like, oh, come and look at my vinyl collection. Well, you know what, I'm not one of those guys, but I do have some cool vinyl records that I think will be pretty fun to look at. Now, let's just check out some Why Not. Let's go for it. Jump in the pool, doesn't matter if it's cold, just jump in and start swimming. First up, all right, what is it? The Best of Steve Miller, <laughs> 1968 to 1973. Now, I don't know if you know this, but Steve Miller, right there, that's his yearbook photo, he was a heck of a guy. He accomplished a lot of things, and uh, this came out in October 1973, and it's October now, actually it's November now, well last month was October, and um, that's the reason why I chose this uh, record, and it's it's really, really unique record, has uh, hit songs like The Joker, we all know that Steve, Stevie was a joker, you know, back in high school he used to put gum underneath the teacher's seat, he used to, uh, he did this one thing where he would sit in the class and he took soap and he threw it all over the class and they were like, where did that come from? Did that come from out the window? And he just sat there and, uh, and this one girl next to him was like, hey, I saw what you did. And he was like, shh. And, uh, you know, he did a lot of jokes like that. All right. Next record. Stevie Ray Vaughan. Again, we're sticking with the Steve theme. All right. A lot of good Steves out there. And this is another one of them. He's got the Guitar Player of the Year, Tin Pan Alley, Voodoo Chili, Cold Shot, Stang Swang, Stang's freaking Swang. I think we all get a little swangy when we listen to Stang. Am I right? Look at the back. The great thing about vinyl is just the, the cover and the back. And, you know, nowadays, oh, it's cool to download Apple Music. It's so easy. I put it in my pocket. I walk down the street and I got my music in my pocket. Yeah, well, you know what you don't have? You don't have a Stevie Swang cover or Stevie Swang back cover. Look at that. Nothing says cool like a guy dressed in black with fire behind him. Next up, a little guy I like to call Hendrix. Not a lot of people know about this guy, but he was a heck of a guitar player. He died young, so not everybody knows about him. But his name was Jimi Hendrix. Great guitar player. Great, great guy. He did a lot of things. And uh, not, not much information on him, but he was a great guitar player. He did a lot of, uh, you know, experimental things, prototypes, that sort of thing. Great guy, Hendrix. This, I don't actually have the record for this. I just was able to find the cover. Look at that. It's a, it's an open book. All right? Look at that. Can you see? You look at that. You don't get that with Apple Music. Do you get that with Apple Music? No, you don't. Hendrix. Next up, a little group I like to call The Supremes. All right? And let me tell you, the music is supreme. Hence the name. You know, the producer was listening to him one day, and they're like, Oh, you guys are good. What's the name of your band? They're like, we don't have a name. He's like, you know what? This music is supreme. That's it. We're going to call you The Supremes, because there's more than one, and we got to be, you know, we got to... You know, my English teacher giving me a call and being like, Hey, there's more than one. Plural. Make sure you add the S. Again, not a great back cover. Front cover is okay. Actually, front cover is more than okay, if you know what I mean. Back cover, not great, but it is a great album. I suggest you pick it up at your local Home Depot. Next up is a band that has saved the world more than once. A band called U2, folks. U2. Still got the shrink wrap on. Shows you how much I listen to it. And it, U2 is just a band. Yeah, they have great songs. Sure they do. But they're more than a band, okay? They're more than a band. The lead singer wears cool sunglasses and he saves the world. He saves kids. The U2 lead singer saves kids. He saves them. Again, I don't have the, the record for this, but I just bought it because of the cover. I bought it at a thrift store. Thrift store. Surprisingly, thrift stores happen to have great albums. People throw away great albums. Look at this. Bob Marley and the Wallers. That's right. It's Bob Marley and it's the Wallers. It's a two for one, folks. Two for one. Look at that man's face. Look at his face. Is that a face of, uh, you know, 
determination and perseverance and all the other words that I can't pronounce. This record is a classic rec record. I've never heard it, but I have, you know, I've been staring at this cover for years. Look at the inside, folks. Once again, you don't get this with Apple Music. You know, you don't get a cover like this on your iPod. Next up, we're switching gears, folks. We're going straight to the Blues Brothers. That's right, the kings of blues. When you think blues music, you think the Blues Brothers, okay? John Belushi, Dan Aykroyd. That's right, Dan Aykroyd did more than just star as the bad guy in Tommy Boy. No, he was a blues brother. He was. And John Belushi, you know, before his tragic death, he died. He got run over by a reindeer on Christmas Eve. But besides, before that, he made some great music. Again, great album. Pick it up at your local Lowe's. Next up, a little band called Van Halen. That's right, Van Halen. It's a, for, those of you, for those of you that don't know, Van Halen is a full band. There's about seven or eight members. They'll play trumpets. I'll play multiple instruments. And the lead singer is this guy right here. Baby Jesus, all right? He's a lead singer. He's just He was born with a microphone in his hand. And Van Halen, underrated, underappreciated. People think, oh, just because it's a baby that's singing, they think they suck. Tell you what, you haven't listened to Van Halen? Pick it up. This kid can sing. Let's go on a trip to Europe. Jazz style. Classic album. Not much on the cover again. Not much on the back. But, you know, what counts is what's on the inside, folks. Bam! Say hello! Yes, look at that. Look at the color, graphics, lyrics. Everything you want in a record album cover is in here. If you don't like jazz music, buy it just so you can hang it on your wall and stare at it when you have people over and they're talking and they're like, oh, so the other day, and you're like, oh, I don't want to listen to this guy. Put this up on your wall and you can read it as he's mumbling on about, oh, my 401k just went up. No one gives a damn about your 401k, all right? No one gives a damn. Oh, my 401k, who cares about 401k? Oh, would you make 10 cents? Get rid of the 401k. Dive in deep. Go into the risky stocks. You want to take some risks? Buy some penny stocks. I got like $5 million invested in penny stocks, all right? That's why I live in a basement, because all my money is invested in penny stocks. Didn't you see Wolf of Wall Street? He wasn't buying no 401ks. Penny stocks, folks. Penny freaking stocks. Smother Brothers. Have you ever wanted to smother your brother with a pillow? Then this album is for you, okay? In this album, they play music? Sure they do. But in between the songs, they do skits where this guy smothers him, he smothers him, and you're going to have to listen to find out who wins. To give you a hint, they didn't make any more albums. They only made one. Okay, the last album. I like to save the best for last. The last album we're going to be talking about today is a little disc I like to call Edison. All right? Edison. Thomas Edison? That's right. Thomas Edison made this record, and it, now it's in my hands. I am touching the work of Thomas Edison. You see it right there? Edison. He even has his picture right there. Because you're like, oh, is that Jeffrey Edison? No, it's that guy. It's Thomas freaking Edison, okay? Yes, I have the greatest record collection. Le yes, I have the greatest puzzle co collection. Yes, my basement is like a museum for modern art enthusiasts. Incredible, I know, it's hard to believe, and I'm trying to get through all the stuff I have in these videos, but it's gonna be tough, folks. I can't, I can't get through all my stuff in, you know, just a couple videos. It's gonna take years, so that's why I'm doing a video every day, and I hope you stay tuned, I hope you subscribe, I hope you like, or whatever else you're supposed to do. I don't know the technicalities, folks. I just get in the basement, I get behind the camera, and I just start talking about my stuff. My stuff is great, your stuff is great. You wanna show me some of your stuff? Leave a comment, let me hear what you got. Maybe you have a tricycle with five wheels, Maybe you have a kangaroo that likes to hop over little obstacles in the backyard. Little kangaroo hopping around. Look at that kangaroo. Look at that kangaroo hopping around, hopping around in the backyard. Who doesn't want to see a kangaroo hopping? I know I do. I love to see kangaroos. I love to see these kangaroos hopping, 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 hopping. Ah, 
So, uh, send me a fax. Send me a, you know, yellow jacket through the B mail. Whatever you gotta do, folks. It's good. It's all good with me. I feel welcomed. I feel great. I feel blessed. I feel like a 550 piece puzzle, if you know what I mean. So, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your night, evening, day, whatever time it is that you're watching this, because it's on YouTube and you can watch it anytime you want. So, thank you. And Truman Show is a good movie. You wanna see that? Go see it. I don't care. Watch it. It's not gonna hurt me. Thank you. Have a good day.